dramatically at a football game on Friday and are wondering why. Good afternoon, wifey. I have researched why temperature rises when a place is crowded with people. Well, what did you research? I researched that body heat releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases cause global warming, right? Yes, but what is a greenhouse gas? Greenhouse gases are caused by natural effects and man-made effects. What are natural effects? Natural effects of global warming consist of fires, oceans, ocean surfaces, global sea level, ice sheets, glaciers, rainfall, plant growth, and cloud structure. Oh, I get it now, but what about volcanoes and water vapor? What about them? Well, volcanic eruptions and water vapor are the two major natural causes of global warming. Okay, but why those two? Volcanic eruptions release lava, so the heat from the lava is so massive it increases temperatures dramatically. Whoa, now what about water vapor? Water vapor is a gas created from the water cycle after evaporation. The more water vapor there is in the air, the hotter the temperature will be. The less water vapor there is, the cooler the temperature will be. So, volcanic eruptions heat up the earth from lava and water vapor heats up the air by gas? That's right! Now that we know about, now that we know what natural effects cause the temperatures to rise, what man-made effects cause global warming? Man-made effects of global warming are when we drive cars, use electricity, or even breathe. Breathe? But we all have to breathe. <laughs> I know, I know, but that's not the main reason temperatures rise, silly. Thank goodness. Right. Do you know what the main causes are? I think so. Let me hear it. Okay. So I know that all factories and deforestation are very harmful to our atmosphere. Why are you laughing? That's what I said was funny. You said deforestation. So? That's not a real thing. You just made it up. No, I didn't. You did it? No. Then what the heck is it? Deforestation is clearing Earth's forests on a massive scale. Oh gosh, that sounds pretty serious. It is. Deforestation and factories cause a major increase in atmospheric concentration. There are ways to prevent greenhouse gases, right? Of course there are tons. Do you know of any? Well, I know that to prevent greenhouse gases, you can use other forms of transportation. Like walking, riding a bike, or taking the bus? Exactly. We can also open windows in our homes when it gets hotter instead of turning on the air conditioning. When it gets colder, just close the curtains and cover up with more blankets instead of turning on the heat. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Plant trees too, it helps a lot because trees give off oxygen which helps absorb carbon dioxide. If everyone takes part in this and spreads the word, and spread the word, we will have a much cle cleaner and cooler earth. Stay tuned while we take a little break. Enjoy this slideshow of the beautiful and exciting earth itself. Hey, wifey, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Mm, I'm doing good, I guess. Just got a lot on my mind. What's wrong? I want to know why so many planes disappear. Well, <laughs> I don't really have a scientific reason, but some planes crash, then disappear. Do you think they crash because of hijackers? Well, that's very reasonable, but we would never know if we were on a plane. Well, that's true. Have you heard about the missing Malaysia flight? No. What's going on? Well, right now, there are more than nine planes and nine ships searching the Indian Ocean for the missing flight. Wow, that's a lot. I know. What do you think, due to the number of searches, the plane would have been found? Uh, duh. Bryce, I just thought of something. What? What if a transformer reached into the sky and grabbed the plane out of the sky and hit it? Um, I would have never thought of that, but I think you might be right. Well, due to their ability to perform tasks so well, I think we may have a conclusion. Well, we should leave it up to the scientists. <laughs> and we're back with the 
weather. Trinity, what's going on out there today? Well, Bryce, today it was nice and sunny out with a high of 78 degrees, and tonight will be a low of 48 degrees. We are getting some rain, and it is expected to last through the evening. Thank you, Trinity. I was checking the Precious Hammer News at 4 Twitter page, and a 14-year-old girl named Millie messaged us a question that caught my eye. And what was the question? Her question was, why does the weather change so much? That is a great question. Do you know the answer? Well, there are many answers to this question, but one main topic I always remember is the water cycle. What's the water cycle? The water cycle is the continuous is the continuous movement of water on and below the Earth's surface. That's right. It has five main processes. Precipitation, runoff, evaporation, transpiration, and condensation. Correct. The water cycle involves energy transfers, which leads to temperature changes. So that's why the temperature is so confusing? Well, that's part of the reason. There are so much more reasons, but it would take hours to explain all of them. Oh, man. I wish we had more time. Me too. Anyways, join us next week for more exciting news and interesting topics. Adios, amigos. Adios.